Since Microsoft acquired the game, they have been in the process of changing some of the conventions from the notch days. And one of the conventions from the notch days is using camel case instead of snake case. For example, you could have something like active effects in the old school days, but nowadays it is active effects with an underscore, aka snake case. And so in that long and uh, continuous effort to change these naming conventions over, they've kind of taken the biggest leap in the latest snapshot. And this big leap applies to items. So before we had something like can destroy or can place on or can break on in camel case, and now we have them in snake case, can underscore place underscore on, and can underscore break, can underscore destroy. And so now, that means that any data pack that manipulated items in any way or messed with items in any way that have any MBT from the default that have, so if you have anything, a name, anything, that data pack or that creation will no longer work. The good news is they did add a way for data to be updated. And so I may actually have an item in a chest over here that has data. While they did make some effort to help update things to the latest version, Basically everything is gonna be broken and probably all the items that exist in your world you have to assume might be broken. And so in order to accommodate for this update or update any of your previous data packs, you will have to change all of your code related to items, all of your loot tables related to items, all of your predicates related to items, all of your items in the world related to items, all of the commands that do any of these items in your world, God forbid you used command blocks in the year of our Lord 2024, um, but all of that aside, it sounds like I'm very annoyed, but honestly, since I haven't been working on any major projects in a long time in Minecraft, it doesn't bother me as much as it may bother you. That being said, ultimately, I think this is a good update, or at the very least, it is a necessary update because they were going to do it and have been wanting to do it for the longest time. So at the very least, I would just hope that if they do something like this, they add lots of functionality out of this change and they've shown a little bit of that. So one of the added functionalities that they gave us with this is the ability to actually see some of this MBT that might've been hard to see before. So if I want to give myself a diamond sword and I want to give it some kind of enchantments, now I can actually use curl, uh, square brackets to give it default value. So anything inside the square bracket is MBT I can assign to it without actually explicitly using the MBT curly braces. And so I can give myself something with uh, enchantments and so I can choose an enchantment here. So similar to before, I can give myself a diamond sword with sharpness level two, and it looks just like this. But one of the added functionalities they've done here is they've tied the show in tooltips tag. If I set show in tooltip to false, then it will not show the sharpness inside the tooltips, which is something that we really couldn't do before but now it's a modular part of the actual enchantment. So instead, you can actually have hidden enchantments on a sword. Another thing you can do is add enchantment glint override. And if I do false with enchantment glint override, then it actually makes enchanted items not have the enchant. So you can have a diamond sword with sharpness two that you cannot even see that it has sharpness two. Another thing I can do is I can give enchantments to things that normally would not have that enchantment. And so one thing is multi-shot and it actually behaves like you would expect. So this is actually really nice of them. We have a cool functionality that we never had before that is multi-shot on a regular bow and not a crossbow, which I think is nice. This adds an extra thing we can do in our um, mini games or something where you don't wanna try too hard in terms of having to code a lot of stuff. It's just more functionality that should have been there to begin with, but now it's actually available. And this does kind of suggest that enchantments are a little bit more modular than they were before. And maybe even they may add some functionality for creating your own enchantments in the future. Overall, this update added a whole lot of changes, which will mean there will have to be a whole lot of updates to your data packs. And so on one hand, that's very annoying. But on the other hand, once you get used to these changes, there should be some added functionality that we didn't have before and maybe they'll even take this further in the future to give us more variability in our items, maybe custom items, who knows where it'll go from there. Um, I would, sadly, I would say that we are headed towards a possible world where they remove MBT because MBT is not a feature inside Bedrock, but I really hope they don't because MBT allows you to do things that you can't even do in Bedrock just because of the ability to collect and manipulate data in game. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think about this update in the comments. Did you like it? Did you hate it? 
do you think that this will lead to some cool new things in the future? Or do you think that there needs to be some serious changes before it's ready to roll out? Anyways, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.